Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video we're going to quickly show you a real, uh, well, a really quick way because there are these functions available in Excel that allow us to do a max and min calculation but using criteria and we can either use a single piece of criteria or we can use multiple criteria. Um, and what we're going to focus on in this video is using the multiple criteria. So in our example, uh, as you'll see on the screen, we've got a simple table on the left hand side that gives us uh, three fields. We've got the year and we've got region and we've got revenue. So the year just being, it's either going to be current or previous. And the region is then going to give us either Europe, North America or Asia. And then for each of those, we've got a revenue. So what we're going to do is use our um, multiple criteria max and min functions to enable us to find out what the max or minimum sale was for a particular region and year. Really easy function to use and it works in the same vein as like the sumish functions that we looked at previously. So what we'll do is we'll just jump straight in and show you the function and to be honest this seems easier to step through it and uh, understand it as we go rather than sort of talk too much about it. So what we're going to do is populate our tables that we've got on the side here. So we can see for max we've got our first criteria of uh, we want the current year and we then want the uh, region of Europe and then we'll get our result. And at the moment, we're going to do exactly the same for the min as well. So the current year, uh, region of Europe, and then we can see what our minimum revenue was there. So for max, all we need to do is simply enter the function, which is equal max and then the words IFS at the end. And you can see we now get our prompt on screen so we can see our range and the criteria we need to apply. So the first thing we need to do is just to enter our range. So where it says max range, this is just the range of values we want to look for our maximum number. You can either select just the range or lazily what I'm going to do because there's nothing else in that field or in that column. I'm just going to select the whole column of column D which contains our revenues. Once I've done that, I can hit the comma and we move into our first criteria range. So for us, that's going to be year. So I'm just going to go and click column B. And alternatively, you could select uh, from rows or cell reference uh, B5 all the way through to I believe it's B30 we've gone down to. But like I say, it's going to select the whole columns because for us, there's no conflicting data in those columns that would cause us a problem. So having selected that, the first criteria we then move on to after having another comma is to select the word current. So we could even make the, the reference was done here, or you could type the word in quotations within this, uh, this section of the function. We do another comma to move on to our second and final uh, piece of criteria. As you can see upon hitting that comma, we have now got another criteria range popped up. So we could use that if we wanted to. Uh, but obviously we're just going to use the two. So we just need to select our second and last, which is column C. And then having selected that, we're just going to select our second criteria of Europe, close our brackets and hit enter. And you can see we've got the value returned of £67,916. And we can quickly check that by going into our filters of year and selecting current. And then going into our region and selecting Europe. when it stops moving around. And we can clearly see now from this filtered view that 67,916 is our largest value. So if we just clear those filters, go back to home, we can now do exactly the same for min. So all we need to do this time is do exactly the same, but this time we're going to use min ifs, open our brackets, and then we're going to select our revenue range where we obviously want to find our minimum value, enter our comma, We'll then select our first criteria range, which again is going to be uh, the year column, so uh, column B for us. Our, range, our criteria, shall we say, to apply to that range is the current. And then our second and last range is C, so for region, and we can select our desired result of the region of Europe. We close our brackets, hit enter. We can now see we've got our minimum value of 54,173. We can again get to that by going into our filters, go to current, go into the region of Europe, where it moves around and we can now clearly see that 54,173 is the minimum value for Europe and then the real benefit of obviously making these uh, references dynamic is once we then go back here if we want to enter something else so we want to maybe look at the year for max of the previous year and we now want to look at maybe uh, North America we can see that we obviously our results are now going to update for us and out of curiosity we could also then see okay well out of the current year, North America, we can see our minimum is now, oh, we can see our maximum, sorry, for North America in the previous year, and let's do our previous here as well. 
So we can now see what the previous maximum was for North America on the previous year of 72,000. And last year, also the minimum for North America was 20, or just short 28,000 pounds. So we hope you found those both useful. Um, obviously, Max and Min are really good functions on their own to be using, so we can analyze data and see what our largest numbers are. Using this multiple criteria just allows us to be a bit more specific when we're analyzing the data, so we can apply the multiple criteria as we have done here. And as we mentioned, and you would have seen when we're using that prompt on screen, we can apply more than just the two criteria we have. Or alternatively, if you just wanted the one piece of criteria, then you'd only need to provide information for that one piece of criteria. So if you enjoyed the video, please do give the video a like. It's uh, greatly appreciated by us and it really does help out the channel. If you haven't also, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification button so you're notified of all of our future videos. And we shall uh, thank you very much and we shall see you in the next video.